Hello everyone and welcome. Today I have a coloring video for you. I used this beautiful image with daffodils and I made a card and I also painted a bigger piece to frame. This is actually a digital stamp that I downloaded and printed. It's part of a set that I bought through Etsy in the shop Dreamflare Studios. And if you like this stamp, I will leave the link to the stamp set in the description below. This is not sponsored. Everything I'm using in this video was purchased with my own money. All right, let's start the coloring. For this one, I used watercolors. And for this video, I will be using the bigger piece that I will be framing. It's just simpler to color bigger images. But I also made a card that I will show you at the end. I painted it the same way, so there is no difference. I started with the flowers and I watered down the yellow paint. This is the lemon yellow and I applied a light base layer over the flowers. I also added a little bit of green in the middle of the flower. I had the daffodils at home, so I checked them out to see the colors and you could see a little bit of green inside. But this is completely optional, including the yellow base layer. My camera stopped filming and I only noticed it after I painted the first layer, but this is just a base layer, as I said, it's optional. So let's move on to the second layer or if you want, you can start with this. My watercolor set has three yellows, the lemon yellow, which I already mentioned, and I also have cadmium yellow and yellow ochre. For the middle of the flower, I use the cadmium yellow with a little bit of yellow ochre. And for the outside petals, I use the lemon yellow and I use more saturated colors. I concentrated the darker shade in the middle of the flower, bottom of the petals and places where I thought darker shade would be, like overlapping petals. And then I lighten it out towards the top of the petal. And later when I will be painting the leaves, I did not do the base layer. I just was changing the shades of green from leaf to leaf. This is a simple coloring. For these type of images, I never do anything complicated. In my previous coloring videos, I already mentioned my way of coloring. But if you are new here, and technically I already said it in this video, no matter what coloring method I'm using, my way of coloring is pretty much the same, especially when it comes to flowers. I use a darker shade of a color at the bottom of the petal or leaf and lighter at the top. I rarely think about a light source. I usually go by feeling what feels right. For example, if there are overlapping petals or leaves, on the bottom petal there would be a darker shade. But I try not to overthink it. Most of the time I'm personally not really interested in doing anything complicated or detailed, especially when it comes to the shading. You can obviously do that, but if you are looking for easy coloring, my type of coloring is definitely for you. And this set I bought contains 20 really beautiful images with flowers and I probably will be coloring most of them. These will be bonus videos and I will be uploading them at the beginning of the week. I was actually trying to stay away from coloring videos like these because they don't get many views. But I really like doing coloring and making coloring videos, so that's why they are going to be just bonus videos that I release now and then. Mainly I will use music and short voiceovers, something like YouTube shorts but horizontal and slightly longer. But I thought, and let me know what you think, to make them more interesting, I could discuss a topic. Right now, what pops to my mind is living in Sweden or the British royals. I have a lot of thoughts, especially about the Harkels. Or I could do these Reddit discussions uh, with interesting topics like, am I the bad guy for doing this? Personally, I really like those stories. So if the coloring will not hold you till the end, maybe the story will. So if that's interesting for you, give it a like. And if you have a topic to discuss, write it in the comments. Anyways, the painting is finished. This one I will be putting into a frame and eventually hang it on the wall. The room where I want to hang it is currently under construction. Plus I need a few more pictures so it's not alone. And here is the card. Originally I was going to make a Mother's Day card. I think this image is perfect for that. 
but I needed a birthday card, so I used a big happy birthday sentiment and I just heat embossed it in white on a black cardstock and I also fussy cut it. And then I adhered it on top of the card using a double sided foam tape. And for the card base I used a craft cardstock. I hope you enjoyed the painting, don't forget to like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video.